Hello. Today I'd just like to do a little fun project um, with you. Um, I just was going to put a border on a tea towel. So it's a purchased tea towel, just a plain one, and just a nice strip of uh, fun bright fabric to go on that. Sometimes um, there are people I know who don't really like these sorts of things, but nonetheless um, they're quite fun. Sometimes for a particular purpose you might have a party on or a special occasion and you can do some themed tea towels. Uh, quite often the plain ones are not very expensive and you can just jazz it up. So what I've done is cut a strip of fabric, it's um, from a fat quarter or half the width of the fabric and it's about four and a half inches wide and I'm just going to press the edges in um, just half an inch along each long edge just to turn those edges in and these are these are quick to make they look nice if you just need to do a little bit of quick decor they make good little gifts um, there's any number of reasons why you might want to put a nice border on a tea towel. So I just thought we'd just go through the little process. So with the purchased tea towel, as I've got here, just a plain inexpensive one, what I did to start off with, I'll just press those so I can move the iron out of the way. What I've done to start off with is just unpick um, a portion. Well, I'm just going to put a border on one end of the tea towel and this little seam that's on the edge, just tidying it up, I've just unpicked a portion of it fairly near one end on both edges so that when I when I put this border on I can sew it right to the edge and it'll go right into the edges. So I've cut that at four and a half inches, I've folded an edge in each side so it's probably roughly three and a half inches now and, and I'm going to set it approximately three and a half inches up from the bottom edge. Um, this is a very sort of inexact positioning and my tea towel doesn't have a particularly straight edge but nonetheless I'm going to go approximately three and a half inches. So I'm using my ruler to help me with that. Um, so I've got it on three and a half inches up so I can line this piece of fabric up. And I'll pop some pins in just to hold it in place. Um, it's just longer, assuming that tea towels throughout the world are made the same size. This half the width of fabric is a little bit longer than the tea towel is wide. And you may need to adjust that. You could uh, do other things, you could add other sorts of trims, you could do applique, but today I'm just putting on a fun kitcheny type fabric with chilies on it. Um, so I've just pinned that in place, I've just put some pins just to hold it. I'm going to start sewing right from the very edge along these two folded edges of the fabric. So you might want to consider what colour threads in your machine because you, you don't want a, a coloured thread showing on the back. So if you had a darker fabric here, you might still want to put a light thread underneath. And I'm just going to sew close to the two folded edges of the fabric. So I'm making sure that this raw edge of the tea towel is sitting right out flat. And my fabric's extending a little bit beyond, but I'll trim that, on, trim that off after I've finished the sewing here. Okay, so I'm just sewing quite close to that edge, all the way across. It's nothing like a quick project. They look nice hanging around the kitchen. And as I said, they make great gifts. Okay, so that's one edge sewn on already. It doesn't take so long to make. And I'm just going to come and do the other side. So I'm still sewing with just the smaller end of the tea towel in the machine, so I'm just sewing on the other side of the strip now. Being the gourmet quarter, of course, I need to have delicious tea towels as well as delicious quilts. And that's already sewn on. So now I've just got to pull those pins out. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to trim off those ends of the fabric there. So I'm going to turn that over to do that and with my rotary cutter and ruler again I'm just going to cut it right to the edge of the, 
the tea towel edge there so that it's level. And this end. And then I'm going to press those edges back over again. And stitch that seam back down on the edge and then it'll be done. It's that quick and easy. So just turn it in. It should be turned in twice. If it's the same as the one I'm using here, it's a good idea to have it turned right in so those raw edges are right in. So it's only a little narrow edge. Press the other one while I'm here. So I just fold that over. And then again. And that gives it quite a nice neat finish. Looks like it was always meant to be there. And now I'm going to go back to the machine and just stitch that side hem back down again from where I had unpicked it. But you might be having a birthday, you might want to do a birthday themed tea cloth, you might want to do um, obviously food kitchen type things, you might have a, a holiday house where you want to do something just a bit of fun to brighten that up or really there's no end to what you might want to do. Let's do the other side. And you can't get much quicker than that for a little gift. Even a gift for yourself. Okay, so there's my tea towel, just with a nice little border on the end. How nice will that look? Just hanging around your kitchen or over your railing or wherever it goes. So I've actually done a couple of them. I've done, gone with this sort of chilly theme this time because I thought they were kind of cheerful. Um, so that was really just a quick, quick idea of something to use up a little piece of fabric for, something to make a gift with, or just because. Thank you.